Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial of PrestaShop order tracking module. In this video, I'll explain you the process to configure the module and I'll show you that how you can add various tracking states to the order detail page of the customer so that your customer can be updated uh, regularly about their order status which uh, they have already uh, placed on your website. So in order to know more about the module and its configuration, let's just go to the PrestaShop back office. As you can see that I have already installed this module in my PrestaShop. So let's just go to the configuration part. In the configuration settings of the module, you will find that there are only two options. Uh, the first one is to select a template to show on the order detail page of the customer. That template is about the tracking state that how you want to show the tracking state on the order details page of the customer. There are two templates available in the module. The first one is uh, that you are currently looking uh, in both the views that is desktop view and mobile view. Then there is second one too. Uh, that is also available in both the views that is desktop and mobile view. Then there is an another option that whether you want to change the tracking state based on the PrestaShop order status or not and uh, whether it will be automatic updation or not, you can select from here. In order to automatically update the tracking state based on the default PrestaShop order status, you also need to uh, map default PrestaShop order status with the tracking state of the uh, with the tracking state available in the module that you can see here that currently in, we are here with four tracking states that is order placed, packed, shipped and delivered. These states will be updated according to the PrestaShop default order status only when you uh, map these tracking states with the default order status of the PrestaShop that is already available on your order details section available at the admin end. Now, after the integration of the module, uh, you will find that under the order section, there is an another tab added that is of order tracking state. After the integration of the module, as I already said, that uh, four tracking states are already added to the uh, PrestaShop. Uh, those four tracking states can be seen here. You can also change their position if you want by clicking here and uh, rearrange them. In case if you don't want to rearrange them, you can also always go back to their previous position that they were by uh, moving this arrow button. After that, in case if you all want to add a new state, then you can also do that by clicking on this button. After clicking on the add new state button, you will be prompted to fill in some details to add a new tracking state to the PrestaShop. Uh, you will be prompted to add a state name, something description about that state, then achieved state icon and pending state icon images for this state. I'll just explain what these achieved state icon and pending state icon means. Achieved state icon is the image of that icon which you will show on the order details page when that particular state has been achieved or completed. and. Uh, Pending state icon corresponds to that image only when that state has not been completed or uh, not been reached yet. So in order to uh, add these images, you will be <coughs> uh, needing a logo for both these icons. After that, whether you want to keep this uh, tracking state as enabled or not, uh, that status you can choose from here. Then as I already said, that uh, in case if you want to automatically update the tracking state based on the uh, default order status then you can do so by enabling that option from the configuration setting but you will also need to map that this tracking state with the default PrestaShop order status available 
all the default PrestaShop order status are available here. You can choose to uh, map any of the order status with this tracking state which you are adding here. In order to explain the significance of this tracking state, I will just explain you with the already added tracking state available in the module so that uh, you can understand it in a better way. <coughs> As you can see that here state name, description, achieved state icon and pending state icon both are same but the color difference is there so that a uh, customer can easily identify whether this state has been completed or not. In case if this color is not filled then they can surely get the idea that it's still to be completed or it's due. After that uh, all those two other options are same. You can uh, always map the order status, default order status with this tracking state and in uh, this mapping helps you when in case if you uh, update the order status from your order details page available uh, in the order section then the tracking state will also be automatically updated based on the mapped order status which you have mapped with the tracking state. So in this way they can be always automatically updated. After that you need to go to the order section. Under order section a new section is also added here in order to change the tracking state of the particular order. This particular uh, field we have added via module. You can always uh, update the tracking state or particular tracking state of any order from this order details page only. You don't need to go to the respective orders one by one to update the tracking state. So this was all about the configuration part of the tracking state module or order tracking module. Now let's just go to the front end to see how the tracking state is shown to the customer. This is a uh, order details page of the customer which is shown to the uh, shown at the customer's account when he or she successfully places an order on your shop. After the integration of module, this particular new section is added to the customer order details page and this tracking state is updated based on the uh, updation made by the admin on this particular order. The tracking state will also be automatically updated as I already explained if you map the order status with the tracking states. This is the order status of this current order that is uh, awaiting bank wire payment but based on this order status the tracking state of this particular order is packed that is it is ready to be shipped uh, to the customer's delivery address. So this was all about the process to show the tra tracking state of the order to the customer so that your customer can be regularly updated about the details of the order that uh, how or when the particular order is gonna reach uh, to the delivery address and I hope that this video helps you configure and use the module in the best possible way. Thank you.